maybe Mel could drop this um, in the chat room, a link for our, an HD V-Tour. Um, this is really cool technology where it's a camera that basically sits on a tripod and does 360s in every room, and you're able to digitally hotspot um, certain rooms where our clients, whether on mobile, tablet, or on their desktop, can digitally walk through every room. So we kind of tag wow. this as not your mama's virtual tour. <laughs> we also have a couple in-house stagers that work just for us. Um, so just about every listing that we take on is staged and designed by us uh, from the inside to the outside to anything and everything in between. And we touched on this also. We've got in-house graphic artist and graphic designer who customizes brochures, print material, web marketing, and ads for every listing in every home. So everyone gets a custom design package that's unique for that property, for that city, and that neighborhood. We are a little bit key too, I have to admit. So we're really SEO nerds, so search engine optimization, whether um, on, on any search platform, and we really try to engage with everyone who talks to us on social media. So that's a okay. little bit about us there, Deb and Mel. Thank you, Raj. And then the next slide, what am I? What are you not going to tell us? <laughs> right, well, well <laughs> let, let me just start with this. Um, first of all, thank, uh, I want to thank Deb and Mel for having me today and having Homes.com sponsor this. And I remember my passion, or I could say my infatuation with video marketing. And I remember the actual day that it started. It was back in 2010, and a lot of people on my team make fun of me because they say way back in 2010. <laughs> but it was a long day, and uh, just finally got the kids down to bed. I've got three kiddos. Finally got them down to bed, and I was in the living room uh, with my wife, and we are just kind of debriefing on the day, which I'm sure many of you do out there. We kind of look at each other, and, and the house is super quiet. The kids are down. The lights are off downstairs. And... We kind of look each other, at each other and we know we have a moment. We've got an opportunity that um, doesn't happen too much. So she looks at me, I look at her, and, and what do we do? We do what every normal and married Orange County couple does. She grabs the remote and turns on the Orange County Housewives. <laughs> I grab my iPad and I start searching for video and real estate because I knew that was the next level. I knew I had to tap into that potential of Google and YouTube that I wasn't really – um, capitalizing on back at that time. Right. So with my searching, I came across a handful of agents who were really doing things um, at a different pace. And it wasn't your typical Blair Witch Project style video that a lot of agents were doing. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't your typical photo slideshow that a lot of agents were doing. They were really um, impressing me. And I was literally taken away. I was, I was really captured in the moment because they were putting lifestyle and community ahead of real estate. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there and you're listening and you're on Twitter, you can, you can tweet that out because they were putting lifestyle before real estate. And that really made a big impression on me because you've really got lost in how these people were living. You really felt like you're part of that community. And oh, by the way, they were selling a home at the same time. So it really made me want to watch the entire length of that video. And really, it took me away. It took me somewhere away from like, a salesy atmosphere. Mm. Anyway, so that, that's a bit of my introduction, but for all of you out there, what I am not going to tell you, okay? I'm not here today to tell you that Google owns YouTube, because I'm sure many of you know that. And I'm not here to tell you that the largest search engine in the entire known universe, Google, owns the, the largest video search platform in the entire universe. I am not here to tell you that. I'm not here to tell you that Google and YouTube speak the same language. I am not here to tell you that. I'm not here to tell you that if you upload a video to YouTube, that YouTube gives it a specific URL, something like www.youtube.com forward slash XYZ123. I'm not here to tell you that. And I'm not here to tell you that that specific URL is a language that Google highly understands and comprehends. So if you are someone or an agent in a specific hyper-local market and you have a consistent voice on YouTube with that specific URL, it's going to speak to Google. And Google is going to recognize that presence for you, that agent in that hyper-local city or town, and rank you higher on organic searches. 
So all of us out there are trying to rank on page one of Google. Is that right? Of course we are. Why are we trying to rank on page one of Google? It's because page two of Google does not exist, in my opinion. So you could tweet that out. Page two of Google does not exist. So what I'm trying to say is if you have a specific URL, we could talk about short tails and long tails and how specific URL tails attracts the attention of Google search engines. But I'm not here to talk to you about that. Okay? If you're not a geek like all of us at the Boutique Real Estate Group, and if you're not into SEO and that's not your language, well, point number two is what I want to talk to you about. Some of the most successful listing agents in my area are super competitive. You talk to them on the phone or you text them or you meet them in real life, they're not giving you any secrets. They're not talking to you at all. But let me tell you what, they are shooting video. And the most successful listing agents are super competitive. And if you're not an SEO geek and you're not into Google and YouTube and URLs and short tails and long terms and trying to rank on page one of Google organically or running paid ads on Google so you can beat out all the big dogs on page one of Google, then you probably are super competitive, and that's why you're on this call today, because you want to learn how to shoot video. Next slide. So probably why you are here today is because what I am going to tell you, okay? Shooting video gives us an opportunity to tell a story, right? So you are that hyper-local expert. You know that home on that street, in that neighborhood, in that city, better than anyone else. And if you don't, you really should because you are that hyper-local resource to the community. What's so great is that video gives us a chance to tell a story. And, and if you are that hyper-local expert, you've got that voice, whether you're blogging or doing video, that you get to create the story for that. And it, it takes us out, let me step back, it takes us out of the monotony of all the crazy disclosures and forums and you know, the 300 pages of a contract that we're reading with escrow and title and all our disclosures, it really gets you out of that and gives you a chance to be the director and, 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 to, and to create something that's you and that's original. So that's point number three. You get to be creative and original and you get to have fun. And that's why a lot of agents who have embraced video and the type of video I'm talking about today are really um, – renewing themselves and giving themselves a second chance at a, at a career in an industry that they get to have so much fun in. Next slide. Okay, well, we're about to see a video, Raj, your first video. And uh, I think everyone's worked out how to uh, toggle between the two screens, the video screen and the webinar screen. But if you haven't, um, you will have a small screen either at the top the side or the bottom, and you will see an equal sign that is either vertical or horizontal. Grab that equal sign and pull it across. You can see the um, slide here is showing you how to do that, but actually grab the slide and pull it out, and we will watch the first video. Are you ready, Raj, for us to roll the video? Yeah, I'm definitely ready, and just so you know, this is what video used to look like. This is what we used to call video. Go ahead and roll it. Okay. This is just absolutely <laughs> killing me. I mean, the funeral parlor, parlor music in the background, the slow pans of this home. I mean, this is, you guys, everyone listening out there, this is not a video. Okay, This is a photo slideshow. This is something that anyone on any program, any agent can make. And you know what? We really thought we were like hot stuff back when we had this listening. And, and, and might I say, this is a $1.6 million listing in the hills of Orange County with panoramic, I mean, 280-degree city light, Catalina Island, and Pacific Ocean view, okay? This home is absolutely mouth-watering and to die for. But we thought we were so hot because we created this, what we called video at the time, to showcase this home. Okay, this was then, okay, 
okay, it's not now. This is not acceptable. No one um, on our team is allowed to even do this. I mean, it's physically in the contract that our agents sign that they're not allowed to do this type of video. And, and Raj, this type of video is not about lifestyle. No, there, there's nothing here that engages anybody. You know, and it, it doesn't make me want to watch. I can't even watch it, and we did this. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So if I can't watch my own video, who is going to watch it? Right. Um, at, Raj, just before we go on, the, um, there's a bunch of people who are saying they can't find the equal sign to pull out the screens. Just um, really experiment with going to the edge of between both of the screens and um, finding that equal signs, whether it's horizontal or vertical, and pulling it down or to the side or up. So just keep, keep uh, finding that. And by the way, if you didn't see the video, we can send out links so you can watch that on YouTube. We will definitely do that, yes. So you can see what the old school looked like. In fact, right. Manley, if you've got that handy, maybe you can chat that out to everybody. But you've got to pay attention to Raj at the same time. And Chris just said you could call it two white bars rather than equal signs. So find the two white bars that are either vertical or horizontal. Um, but basically, Raj... Uh, for those who didn't see the video, could you just very briefly describe what, what we saw? Yeah, it's, it's my pleasure. It's basically um, our beautiful photos that we took of that home, but just set to music and panning in and out one by one of the entire photo set for that home. Set to basically music that was free, just giving off, given off YouTube, that basically makes you want to slit your wrist. <laughs> you over. I mean, I can't even handle... I mean. This home was beautiful. I mean, it was dripping gorgeous. I mean, any listing agent, and even the buyer's agent would just love to have this listing. And even being in this home, the brokers open we had at this home had over 100 agents there. Um, the sellers were absolutely fabulous and ended up being close friends of mine. But the point is, is this is not acceptable today in 2013. Okay. Well, let's see what is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pause it, and uh, it looks also, I think some people are experiencing, they have a full webinar screen, and there's not a, a small video screen anywhere. We'll just go to the side, the top or the bottom, and just pull a, pull, pull the sides out, and you should be able, to, it should um, make a little, another video screen visible. I know you can actually have a screen that doesn't have the little video there, but you just pull it out, um, there'll be some bar to pull it out on. Okay, uh, next slide, Mel. Okay, uh, this is the next slide. Uh, oh, I'm seeing the video. Should oh, we should we see the video, it? or do you want to tell no, us no, anything no, about? No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, no. Yeah. Well, let me let me just set this uh, this next video up. So, um, this is what video needs to look like. So, for those of you that got to see that photo slideshow, set to the funeral parlor music. I mean, this is what encapsulates encapsulates everything that we did a couple years ago. So in my mind, we were doing such great things, and I was getting calls from local agents, agents from across the country, brokers, brokerages, saying, oh, my gosh, how are you doing this? How are you putting this together? How do you afford this kind of stuff? Well, you know, we knew we had something special there, and my mind just starts racing, and I don't get a lot of sleep because I'm always thinking of what I could do next. How could I bring the best experience, not only for the agents that are on our team, but for our consumers who we're dealing with day in and day out? So we put together um, kind of like a collage, video, V-Tour, photos, and set to music, and then did um, little intros to everyone on the team that was on our team at the time we did this video, and set it to some rock star music, and then did a little blooper at the end. So in my mind, um, this is what video needs to look like. And for all of, those, all of you listening out there, if you start kind of tapping your foot or your head starts bobbing in and out, I know that you're into this video. Okay. Let's roll it. Uh, by the way, if you can't see the video and go to webinar, uh, Manley has sent out a link uh, to a well. It's to Raj's. Google Hangout. It's to oh, to the Google Hangout. Yeah, the Google Hangout will show the video as well. Well, there's it, also he just sent out a link to the YouTube uh, to Raj's YouTube channel. So right, but they won't know necessarily which ones to click on. Right. However, the Hangout link. In fact, why don't you send the Hangout link again? They can follow along. Uh, and that will be delayed by about a minute, so you can test to see if you can see it. You should see a little orange video window on one side of your slides, and you can hopefully make that bigger. All right, let's roll.
type in Harrison Sarkov. Okay. <laughs> am I a video right now? I am. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here we go. All right, great. That was okay. what a change, what a difference. Yeah, what a, what a complete transformation. And it, you know, all the rage right now throughout the country is building teams, and everyone's talking about having a team because agents cannot do all of this by themselves. And you could definitely tweet that out. It it it, it takes an army to pull something off like that. It's it's video, it's production, it's editing, it's photography, it's equipment, it's People getting the home ready for you so you can actually shoot the video and take the photos. It's every light on, every candle flickering, every fireplace on, the fountains in the pool going, the fountain in the front yard trickling away. I mean, it's all of that. You know, it, it creates emotion. It stirs people's emotions. And there's a little snapshot of our team. It's not everyone, but it's just about everyone right there. And um, these guys really deserve all the credit for pulling all this off. So if anybody couldn't see that video, Manly has chatted out the link to everyone that goes directly to that. It's award-winning. You definitely want to check it out. You can do that right now uh, while we take a little ad break. Uh, yeah, and let me say again that I understand that sometimes you only see the webinar um, screen, but somewhere to the left or to the bottom or to the top, there will be these two white bars or a single bar that you can grab with your cursor and pull it out. Um, so it is there, uh, you just need to find the right place it's in, the top side or bottom, and experiment pulling it out. Okay, go ahead Mel. Great. Well these webinars like Raj and all the 50 or 60 beforehand for the last seven years are all at secretswebinars.com because homes.com has sponsored them. So uh, go check it out and uh, after the webinar, we're going to follow Raj, or he's going to follow us, to facebook.com forward slash homes pro. So everyone, you can go to homes pro right now and like the page. Then you'll see a picture of Raj, looks like that, that you're seeing on your screen. Click on that, and the conversation will continue post-webinar. So at 2.30 Eastern, about a half hour after the webinar, Raj will join us there, answer any questions that are left over from the video. At the top of the next hour, Joe Sesso joins us, uh, showing us how to use video on homes.com. Now, there are local ads, which there's a special for today that you can have video as part of. Also, you have a free agent profile on homes.com. I don't know if you knew that. You can put video there as well. That's free. He'll show you how to do that. The special offer is if you buy a local ad package, that's the one that includes the desktop ads and the mobile ads, you receive a free featured listing. So get your local area completely covered with uh, mobile local ads, with local ads, and a free featured listing. There's the number, 888-510-8795. You can give them a call right now. Next month, we're proud to have Gary Keller and Jay Papasan back. Have you read The One Thing yet? It's one book you need to have this summer. Surprisingly Simple Truth Behind Extraordinary Results. Gary and Jay will be talking about the book and answering your questions live here that's August 21st, and we're back to Wednesday. I know we might have surprised you with this Tuesday webinar, but uh, we're back to you, Raj. Okay, here I am. Great. So, we were talking a little bit earlier about creating the story, and nobody knows the neighborhood like you, and that's the great opportunity about video, is that you get to create this um, hyper-local presence in your neighborhood where you get to feature the community. You get to feature things that most buyers would want to know about that community. Where, where does everyone eat? Where does everyone take their laundry? What's the hottest sushi place in town? I mean, these are the things where you get to build relationships. And, you know, not only with the community, but people who are in the community actually working in the community. I mean, great ideas for creating stories with the local sushi shop or the golf club or, you know, the farmer's market. Or maybe once a week, once a month in the summer they do a car show, or maybe they have music in the music in the park events during the summer. I mean, things like this really get you in the neighborhood, and it allows you to be the secret sauce. It allows you to be the person that's not being that salesy, looking for that next deal, but creating a relationship with someone in real life that you get to take into your business world. Next slide. 
Hey Raj, uh, Becky just was asking that this that video we just showed seemed like a commercial for your agency, and that's true, right? Well, that was just basically a thank you to all our clients. We sent that out um, in multiple platforms to our clients just to say thank you for giving us an opportunity to serve them. But really, um, we got to showcase what we are capable of. I see. And the power of that, um, whether when you're not in front of someone, when it's online, or you're in front of someone where you're trying to get the listing or even trying to get a chance to work with a buyer, they see something like this and they make an instant connection with you and they know you're someone who is professional, not doing this um, just to close a deal, but someone who's really invested in our industry. Right. Okay, good. Now we've got uh, a video coming up that's about a home in your area. Yeah, which... so let me, uh, let me prep this one as well, Deb. So sure. uh, 64 White Sage is in a city called Irvine. I mean, literally dead center of Orange County. Irvine is known for being one of the safest cities in Orange County, having some of the top-rated public schools. Also, uh, University of California, Irvine, or UCI is there. They've got great hospitals. I mean, there's so much to do in the city. Great nightlife and entertainment, outdoor shopping malls. And we knew that we really had to showcase that. And the home was almost secondary. And what's really interesting about this is when I, I mean, we're real deal agents. I mean, we're feet on the ground. We talk with buyers. We talk with sellers all the time. And when we met with the sellers back in December, um, there was really no comps to justify a sales price that they were wanting to achieve. I mean, we know this trend happening across the country for the last um, year or so, low inventory, low interest rates, not a ton of stuff on the market, which also results in not a lot of comparables. As the market's going up, there's not a lot of stuff to comp out your particular listing. So in this particular example, we were thinking a list price of like 750, 750,000 for this home at this time in December. Um, that's not what the sellers wanted, and I knew that wouldn't get them to up leg transitional home because they were upsizing. Um, so we knew we had to not only produce, stage, do awesome photography, have a great print and online campaign, but we really had to pull at heartstrings to showcase this area and then push that out on various social channels to try to get the most amount of eyeballs on this particular home. So again, I go back to building teams. What's really fun is our team has a secret group on Facebook and we talk in there a lot. It's almost like our CRM in a sense. We're, we're all on there every day and this particular home we got a chance to hire two actors. I mean real live actors with, with CVs and um, we, we had about eight actors that interviewed for the part. We put them all up in our Facebook group and we had the team decide like which guy would look best with which girl who's got the best personality who's available on, like, for a full day of shooting, like how could we pull this off? So it got the whole team engaged and wanting to be a part of this video. So with that said, that's the opening, so let's roll it. Great, and again, I've chatted out to everyone a Hangout where you can watch this video if you're having any trouble watching it in the webinar. You can see it on the Secrets Webinar blog, and that's delayed a little bit, so uh, you'll have plenty of time to get there and take a look at it. Here we Perfect. go. Mel, and also, yeah, and also if you're following me on Twitter, I'll tweet out the links as well. Great, Great. thank you. Hands full of lemon drops all disappear. All lips like children, the voices we hear. They're all smiles, they're all smiles, they're all smiles. Ring through the sky like a bicycle bell Light up the stars with the stories we tell We're all smiles, we're all smiles, we're all smiles Ha 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 ha, I never know it could be such fun Darling, you you're the only one who can take me light as the doves through the tips of the trees. Tumble like stones still with torn at the knees. We're all smiles, we're all smiles, we're all smiles. Oh, I never know. Such fun, darling. 
Thanks, Raj. I just wanted to, there's a lot of people, or a few people who are frustrated. A lot of people are seeing the video and it's great and it's working well. And we've got a few people who aren't, aren't seeing the white bars. Um, they can't seem to find how to pull it out. I just wanted you to know that this is a new product by GoToWebinar Faces. And whenever there's a new product that comes out, there's always glitches and, you know, they haven't finished their documentation and so on. So um, we like to be at the cutting edge. We like to um, show you what's newest out there and that's what we're doing today. So hang with us if you can. We're definitely going to send you the link so that you can see all the videos and how different they are. And uh, Raj is about to talk to you about the elements that need to be in a video that you can have on a, an expensive video or an inexpensive video. So a lot of people are asking about, hey, what about the um, you know, less expensive homes? Would you do this with them? Well, I think, Raj, you've got a lot of good advice relative to the elements you need to have in a video no matter what uh, price the house is. Yeah, thanks, Deb. And, you know, a, a lot of what we do uh, on our team is focused on million-dollar-plus homes. And that just happens to be our market, but like any agency or brokerage, we don't say no to listings. We just don't. So we had opportunity to present a million dollar presentation to homes that are, you know, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. We have the capability of doing that. And so what happens when you're able to present a home that's maybe three hundred, four hundred thousand, the way someone would present a million dollar listing, is you're definitely going to create a buzz in that community. Um, you have a chance to raise the bar. Let me say that again. You have a chance to raise the bar in your hyper-local neighborhood. If you're an agent whose price point is $300,000 and you have the ability to, you know, for once or twice a year produce a video that really stirs your client's emotion, creates a presence, you're able to push it out socially on multiple channels, be genuine and engage with people, and let people know about the video, you're really going to create a buzz. So I've got a great example of an agent on our team, Jeremy Lehman. He's at Jeremy Lehman on Twitter. You can follow him. He, he did a great video, and I'll, I'll tweet the link out on Twitter, but it was a $300,000 condo in Orange County. It was a luxury low-rise condo that he really wanted the opportunity to break into this little market in this condo high-rise. Well, we produced a video. Uh, that's the photo that you guys see on the screen right now with a little dog and, and an actor who, by the way, she did it for very, very little money um, to add to her, you know, CV. But we were able to produce something and then Jeremy did a cameo in the video. So what happened, we created a buzz, people started talking about it. Not only did we set, set a price record for this particular model in this condo complex, but Jeremy got also three other listings in that same condo complex because of the video. So what you do socially and on the web creates a, a digital footprint that lasts. So you're going to have an opportunity 
to create something, not only in real life, in the moment, but something that lasts over time. And then that's what you get to do with video. Where photos maybe come and go, but video really lives. It gets into people's like heart, and it pulls at their heartstrings, and it creates an emotion if you do it right. So real quick, if I backtrack to the last one, 64 White Sage, just so you guys know the return on that, remember I said that we were looking for a list price of about 750 Well, after we staged the home, it took awesome photos, created a print and web campaign, and then pushed the video out everywhere, someone on Facebook liked it on our business page, the video, and their friend saw and liked it, right? So we did a promoted post or a sponsored story on that video. It was the like of a like of a like, basically. We told their agent, they came into the home, and we set a price record for the home. It ended up selling for eight twenty-five, dollars all cash, closed in 14 days. Because of the video that, you know, if we just did the video, someone may not have seen it, but we did a video and pushed it socially and ran an ad to the video that someone liked and liked and liked it, they saw it, told their agent, and they came and saw it and bought the house. Great. So shall we roll? Yeah, so this is all about stirring emotions, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you see this 30-second video of this home, 4350bobwhite.com. Once again, 30-second video, pulling out emotions, not Blair Witch Project style, two videographers, one just outside the pool, one in the pool with his bathing suit on, 13 actors, three cars. If you, You'll see the uh, full-length video on our YouTube channel. But this is a 30-second clip, and I'll tell you the story in the back end of this after we roll it. Okay, I'm going to put out a link right now, and Manley has already put out links. If you haven't been able to watch any of the videos, we recommend that you watch on a Hangout. Uh, in fact, let me make sure that everybody gets that. Um, if you watch on the Hangout, though, you'll want to leave the webinar so you don't hear double audio. And here comes that link for the entire audience. Or Manly, there, there's Manly's link. So follow that link if you haven't been able to watch any of the videos thus far. And you could, you'll be able to watch this one. And you can follow the rest of the webinar uh, just on the Hangout itself. You can leave the webinar uh, in GoToWebinar. Here it comes. And, and now I know all of you, everyone listening in right now is like, what's the big deal about that? Who cares? Well, let me tell you the return here. Okay, so we're, we're, we have a channel on our YouTube called uh, Movie Trailers. And, you know, we've kind of almost gotten away from calling these videos now to calling them, you know, mini movies. Um, but we're doing these trailers. And someone asked on my Twitter stream there, like, how long does it take to, you know, produce something and then get it out? It, for us, it's about a week, okay? So to answer your question, about a week to get it out. So here is the great thing about video and, and stirring people's emotions. That 30-second video clip, we ran the sponsored story on Facebook on our business page, okay? We knew we had something really special because the minute we pushed that out, we had a lot of engagement on a 30-second uh, video clip. So we did an email campaign where we emailed the video to our sphere. And if you guys know a little bit about click-through rates for email campaigns in our industry in real estate, the average is about 18%. So let me, let me paint the picture. You send 100 emails to 100 people, right? You get 18 people that actually open up the email. Okay? That's average. You're, you're doing okay, right? If you send an email out and like 20, 25% open it up, um, you've got like a good subject line, or maybe your content is good, and people are kind of sort of interested, so they click and they open it up. You have a 30 to 40 percent click-through rate. You've got like a serious following. You've got thousands of followers who kind of want to know what you're up to and what you're doing. Okay, 50 percent plus click-through rate. Once again, 100 emails out and 50 people open them up. You get to host conferences. You're on a roadshow. You are called like the email guru, right? Okay, we don't consider ourselves email guru. We're just super creative, and we're, we're hyper-local. We sent that 30-second video clip out, and we had a 55% click-through rate on our email campaign. Let me say that again. We sent that 30-second video 
of those six kids jumping in the pool and swimming across, right? There's really nothing about a house in there, right? There's a link to the property website, and that's it. Had a 55% click-through rate. A lot of people out there who do email marketing know that if you had a 50, 55%, you'd be like, holy smoke, shut the front door. I can't believe it. That's absolutely amazing. So that's where you get to pull on people's heartstrings. You get to pull on their emotions. They wanted to know what those kids were up to. Why are they in a pool? Why are they jumping? Why are they so excited? Why are all the parents sitting around the outside of the pool watching the kids jump in? What's going on with this home? I hope that really resonates with you guys because it's so important, okay? This is not, like I, said, like I said in San Francisco at a conference I was at, this is not Blair Witch Project meets Orange County Housewives. This is not what we're doing here. We are pulling emotions. We're hyper-local. We're feet-on-the-street real estate agents. We want to create an experience for our consumers that brings them back to us and also brings us more referrals, right, because that's the return. We want to continually sell out. We want to be continually selling home. We also want to do that at a level and pace that exceeds all our competition, but that's another webinar. So this is what you need. So here's the slide. You need a mindset. You need to change your mindset. Most agents are so excited when they get that listing appointment phone call that when they meet the people, they're really not even listening to them. Okay? They're walking through the home. They're looking at granite countertops. They're looking at crown molding. They're looking at outdoor cabanas. They're looking at stainless steel appliances and wood floors flown in from the south of France. Okay, that is all important, right? But you need to change your mindset. That home on White Sage that we all saw the video on, the idea for that, which we call a date night video, that idea for that came during the listing presentation. While I was sitting there with our sellers, this is what they told me. We're walking through the house. We're looking at the home. I'm like, oh, great, you got a couple kids. Do you have a couple kids? They're like, yeah. I said, well, where are they? I'd love to meet them. They're like, oh, they're at my in-law's house. We're having a date night after we meet with you. Light bulb goes on over my head, date night. So hence, the storyline for that video on White Sage is a date night video. You got the husband and wife cruising through the home, they miss their kiddos, but they still want to have some quality couple time, so they go to the Irvine Spectrum in the heart of Orange County, cruise around, do the thing, jump on the Ferris wheel, and then head over to the Great Park to jump in that huge hot air balloon, to go up in the sky and have a view of all of Orange County. So that brings me to number two, the idea and the storyline, right? It's not you, the agent, walking through the home with an iPhone hooked with a little camera that you bought for 10 bucks off eBay, right? That's not what we're doing. It's the idea, it's the story of that hyper-local presence that you've created in that community. When you're out and you're not really talking about real estate, you've had a long day and people are like, hey, we saw that video on YouTube, that was amazing. You know you're on the right track. What's so great, once again, and I keep saying this word and you could tweet this out if you're on Twitter, but Hyperlocal. I've been talking and preaching about hyperlocal real estate really since I got my license, right? It, it's all about being hyperlocal and starting right there, ground level, and working out because we cannot be the king of all of Southern California or all of Orange County. It's absolutely impossible to do that. Location matter. Just like in real estate, location, 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 the location of your story, your idea, your mindset matters. Are you on a beachfront community? Do people have docks on the end of their home or are you lakeside? Are you up in the mountains? Are you in the desert? What do people like to do in those locations, right? You need to capture that and bring that in to your video because once again, remember, you're the secret sauce. You are the director. You get to create this presence and this image that you get to push out to everyone. And number four, for a lot of the agents on my team who are just joining, like my team, or you're just wanting to get your feet with a video, video takes patience, okay? You know, some of our photo shoots take, you know, two, three, four hours on some of these larger estates. It, it's a labor of love. But, but video shoots could be all day on some of these bigger homes because it's room to room to room. It's equipment going from room to room to room. Yet the entire house, because the camera doesn't hide anything, needs to be ready, right? So once again, lights on, music playing, candle flickering, fireplaces on, every fountain going, every accessory that this homeowner has put into this home is on and kicking. So it, 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 it's a labor of love and it takes a long time, but the return, and I'll say this and I said this, and I say this all the time, the return that video has given me and our team has probably been the best ROI 
that we've ever had regardless of anything. Okay, Facebook was huge, right? Enormous. But video and doing Facebook with that and pushing it out socially has really given us the greatest return on anything that we've done. Next slide. Okay, so for those of you who want to get into this and you're like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? Well, you know, there's extra special secret sauce. So you're the secret sauce, right? We give you kudos, we give you credit, you're a rock star. Okay, but there's some certain things that once you do that walkthrough in the home and you get kind of your feet wet with video, there's, there's cars that you can incorporate. And we're, we're really fortunate that a lot of our clients have super nice cars, right? So they've got Jaguars and Porsches and Ferraris and Bentleys and all that kind of stuff. And they're like, no way. You want to use our car in the video? That'd be awesome. Or they're even asking us, hey, are you going to use my car? Oh, by the way, I've got a horse at the stable down the street. Can we, can we get the horse in the video? So you get to that point where people are now calling you because of the video, because they want their home and their neighborhood showcased in the video, and you get to add these in. We had one of our agents, Ray Fernandez, who's like just really an up-and-coming star in the La Habra Heights area in like North Orange County, kind of just on the border of L.A., and he had a great property. It was just over an acre. It was absolutely gorgeous. List price of one seven, and he just comes to me. He's like, hey, Raj, let's jump in a helicopter. I really want to kind of showcase my city that I'm that I'm working in and marketing. Let's jump in a helicopter. This home is on an acre. There's a private golf club right next door. Let's jump in. And I'm just like, yeah, let's do it. So there's all this extra stuff that you could really do to incorporate into your videos <laughs> to help you stand out. And also Raj, um, if if it's a lower end home and someone does can't afford to get into a, a helicopter, you can actually get photos of your area. Um, online, so yeah, so you know, Deb, that that really brings up a great point, and you really reminded me there. So while we were up in the air, our team had three or four listing appointments coming up. Mm -hmm. So while we're up in the air, <laughs> not only did we shoot that, we also got those listings that we were going to interview with the people mm -hmm. that we didn't even know. Right, right, did excellent. You see the power of that. So when we're yeah. at the home the next day, we're mm -hmm. like, hey, did you hear that helicopter above your home yesterday? They're like. Yeah, we did. What was going on? I'm like, well, that was us, and here's the photo. <laughs> this is what we're going to do for you. And talk about competition mm -hmm. and standing out from the pack. Mm -hmm. You're going to blow everyone away. Right, right. Well, you could also do the same thing in a lower-end home. You could uh, get get the, 100. the photo off the internet. 100%, Deb. Yeah. Definitely. Great. And, and you know, uh, brainstorm. Someone might have a, a beautiful-looking car, but they might have a feature that they really love. And so include them in it. I mean, that's great that you're talking about that the owner gets involved with what he or she wants you to show on the video. Absolutely agree. All right, next slide. Okay, so this is just a, a little fun that I have with everyone kind of at the end of this presentation. So um, it's a mouthful, but I'll just read it out to you because this is really the essence of kind of what we're doing. So how do you create content that's engaging, meaningful, intentional and genuine and curate that content on multiple social channels to ensure increased SEO and search visibility to the most number of relevant potential consumers and then convert basically those online leads or those individuals to real life clients. And the answer to that mouthful of a question I think starts with video. Mm -hmm. Right, right on. Okay. And you know what? We, we have a few questions for you. Oh, great. I'd love it. Yes, a, a lot of questions, actually. Um, Joe wants to know, um, can you talk about music? Your videos have amazing music, but without music, the visuals are almost meaningless. Can you recommend certain subscription services or royalty-free? Yeah, there, there's, there's a handful of great public sites out there where you could buy music from basically like a low end of 40 bucks to a few hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. um, Premiumbeats.com is a great one. Premium Pre Beats. Beats. Manly, can you type that out? Dot .com is a great one. Um, also, songfreedom.com is another good one. Song Freedom. Okay. Mel, do you know any? Oh, yes. Uh, our theme comes from the Beat Suite. The Beat Suite. The Beat Suite. And, and also, uh, we use a lot music of music bakery? from the music bakery and uh, shockwave slash 
or shockwave-audio.com. All right, we've got a few here to get out to you. So, Joe, you should have a few there for you to look up. Um, and John would like to know if you're just starting out with these type of HD quality videos and editing, do you recommend producing this type of video for each new listing? Good question. Yeah, that's a great question. Thanks so much for asking. Yeah, so for every listing that we take, we're doing some kind of video. So again, if you're going to have like a $200,000 condo somewhere out, I mean, you're not jumping in a helicopter most likely. You're not getting in a Porsche or jumping on a horse, right, to go horseback riding, right? This probably won't make a lot of sense. But what you could do on those lower end listings is maybe do like an agent tour video of the community. So the mm -hmm. people that live in that $200,000 condo, where are they going to eat? Where are they taking the laundry? Where's the golf club? Where's the library? Where's, do they have a street fair? in that community because a lot of that stuff we call B-roll, that B-roll footage could be used over and over and over again in different videos in that community. Right. Um, great. And James wants to know, for the lower uh, budgets, the oh, no, he wants, he's actually telling us some advice. For the lower budgets, the app Videolicious is great. It also yeah. includes tons of music. Have you tried that, Raj? No, I haven't done that, but I've been. Um, Actually, we, we, we seem to be um, speaking at the same conferences all the time, the Videolicious guys, uh -huh. and kind of what we're doing. But I think it's a great product, and you guys should definitely look into it. Okay. So, Raj, how do you find videographers? Jackie wants to know. If she can't afford a team of 15. Where should she start? <laughs> well, I think a great place to start is just researching videographers in your local community. And let me tell you what. Um, wedding photographers during the week aren't doing – or wedding videographers during the week aren't doing much. Um, mm. They're booked on the weekend, but during the week, they would probably die at an opportunity to at least try real estate video. And some of them may have never even thought of that, so you could probably work out a really good price point for them. But some of these wedding guys have amazing equipment. And I think if you've got the vision um, and able to maybe negotiate a, a lower price point with these guys, I think that would be a good place to start. Mm, good idea. Um, Stacy says, what video equipment is used? What type of video camera could be used for agent on a budget? Good question. Yeah, so, yeah, agent on a budget, you could, I mean, if you don't want to buy it all yourself, you could definitely go rent it. So oh, there's yeah. a lot of places where you can rent equipment. Mm -hmm. But once again, like for me personally, I'm not a videographer. I have a vision in my mind of what I want it to look like and how I want the story to play out. But if I have to deal with aperture or ISO or change the speed or do whatever, that's not me. I can't do that. So I, w I would highly suggest that you don't try to, you don't do it yourself. But for minimal investment up front, if you're going to make this part of your marketing campaign, mm -hmm. that it's worth that initial investment to either find that local videographer, rent the equipment if your videographer that you find doesn't have it, and start there. Um, I knew, because in the area I'm in, I called some agencies in LA and stuff, but when I got the, when the cost came back and with the amount of listings that we do, I knew it wasn't possible. And after renting a few times some mm -hmm. of the equipment, I knew that I could actually buy it mm -hmm. and it would make more sense to me as a running a brokerage. Right, right. And I'm thinking that also if you get someone in who knows what they're doing, a videographer, you can learn from them the first couple of times and then maybe um, take over from there. Uh, I don't know if any of your agents do that. Uh, none of, none of, we, we have, like like I said, we have an in-house videographer who shoots for us, so we own all our own equipment, so from the cameras, the lenses, the lights, the, the stands, the sliders, the glides, anything and everything between, we own it all ourselves. Right. Okay, Mel, you Okay, yeah, here's a, here's a rough one for you. Uh, Jackie says, it seems like you're niching a preferred buyer, which might be a turnoff to other buyers with regard to potential fair housing issues like race, age, etc., Although it certainly is eye candy. Yowza. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems like you're doing videos for your audience, and if your audience yeah, we're just we're 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 just doing video and we're just having fun with it, and we're not trying to stereotype a particular buyer or anything like that. Right. Yeah, Deb said that guy's too young to own that house, <laughs> but <laughs> I did. Well, you got to remember, this is Orange County, <laughs> and so young people own million-dollar homes. It's, it's just. <laughs> Standard well, it made us oldies go, yeah, yeah, we should buy. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. You got another question, Mel? Um, 
think Gotta... I had a question about contests. Now, maybe she knows. Do you do contests? She was saying, what contests do you do? Um, do we do contests? Like, what do you mean contests? I'm not sure, Pam. Write yeah, us back yeah. if uh, what that question was about. And, I uh, thought maybe she knew you and you had some great contests. She was setting you up. Anyway, James uh, James wants to, and uh, but a lot of people want to know on average what does it cost you to do this? Now I know that's you didn't you don't really can't really answer that question because you bought all your equipment and you've got people in house. Um, is there anything you could say to that? Yeah, it, it's really tough for me specifically to answer how much does that video cost. Okay, I can't really obviously we don't own a helicopter, I don't own horses, and I don't have a fleet of Bentleys and Jaguars and Ferraris, right? So that's going to be a, a separate price all on its own. But for a lot of you out there that are listening that want to get into this, you could probably pull off a halfway decent video in like the 750 range or so if you maybe rented it and did it yourself. You Se know? 7050 No, 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 750 bucks. Oh, 750 bucks, uh, good. Yeah, under 1000 bucks if you did it on your own and rented your own equipment. Okay, that's um, good to I'm know. Not counting, yeah, I'm not counting your time. Right. But you could definitely... Um, on multiple day shoots with actors and cars and helicopters, and um, you could be in the thousands. Okay. Thousands All right. All right. Yeah. And then there are other people, uh, Linda, Pam, Terry. They're asking very specific questions, like about the tools and the cameras, and what do you recommend? And um, to everyone who um, wants to know recommendations that are really good, we actually have three other um, webinars we've done on video. And um, we'd have Brian Copeland recommend video equipment and Michael Carissa. These are guys that know it inside and out. So, um, Manly, if uh, you could put out those links, I have them in the info sheet, that um, people can do their own research and watch the video, watch the webinars, and there are great recommendations in there. Uh, Raj is, as you can see, a high end and more kind of luxury market. What's the lowest video you've ever done? Lowest. Uh, priced home video you've ever done? Yeah, great question, Deb. So is that video I was talking about earlier with the dog and the actress? Yes. Um, we listed it for 300 and it sold for 340 Mmm, because of the video, you think? I think we really think it was because of the video, yep. Mmm, wow, 40 and more then, thousand. And, yeah, and then the agent got three more listings in that same complex because of the video. Oh, wow. So if you make 40000 more on a house, you can definitely afford to pay a few thousand dollars for a video. I definitely agree with you. I mm -hmm. think your client deserves that. Mm -hmm. Okay, even if it's a 200,000 house, would you recommend that? Well, like I said earlier, on the 200,000 house, you know, you may not be jumping in a helicopter doing anything crazy like that, but you have a chance to shoot video in that home. Yeah. And it may not be a whole production with actors or anything like that, mm -hmm. but you could easily shoot a video there and then do something involved with the community. Right. And then that would be some footage you have for other listings you get in that community as well. Right. And and you could go to a local college that has a theatre course or a film course, and uh, they would love to do this for you for probably Pen half the pennies. price, pennies, of yeah, anyone else. Yeah, you definitely find actors at local theatre or high schools who or colleges um, that would want to maybe be in the videos for sure. Right. right. Do you have to get approval rights if you're filming local businesses? That's a good question. You know, we haven't had to deal with that so much, um, really depending on the lenses and things that we're doing. Um, we're, we're not so much focusing on people in the background or anything like that, but maybe like the food or um, the location, um, like mostly public stuff. How do you track the ROI on the videos? What the e what's the evidence that they're working well? Uh, well, a, a great example are just some of the ones we talked about today. So we have that 64 white sage. Which we thought was about 750, we sold it for 825. So that was a 75 thousand dollar wow gain for those sellers. I mean, 75 thousand bucks. I mean, how happy is that seller? How likely is that seller to refer you to all their family and all their friends? Right. Right. I mean, that that's just proof. Right, Raj. I have a question here because people are saying, you know. Um, if you don't have an in-house marketing staff, um, what would you budget? And I think you probably got to look at what is your marketing budget and um, what's your top priority, what has been your top priority in your marketing budget, and and look at and see if it's been as effective as video um, can and should be. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's a great question. It's something that we all struggle with. Like most agents, 
don't want to spend a dime on anything. Right. They don't, want to, they don't, they don't even want a website. Right. They don't even get on Facebook, and that's kind of sort of free in a sense. Yeah, it is free. Not free for us, but it's free for a lot of people. But um, I think that if you're serious about video and you're serious about raising the bar in your hyper-local area, that you'll do whatever it takes to get decent video out there, mm -hmm. be consistent, mm -hmm. be genuine, be intentional, and right. push it out. Right. Right. I agree. And I think video, it used to be really important, and it still is, to take really good photos. And many agents, some agents know that, and they, they put the money out to do that. Um, and a lot of agents don't. I think the same thing is now with video. If um, I think you need to put it out to make a good video, get the SEO recognition, and also get an extra 10000 um up the, up the price an extra 10000 <laughs> That's what it seems like yeah, you can I mean, do. Most, most agents want to get a listing. They want to get it signed. They want to get it up on the MLS the next day. That's not what we do. Right. I mean, it takes us two to three weeks with staging and videos and photo and getting the home absolutely perfect because we would rather, and I preach about this to all our agents, we would rather do it right up front than have to change course of the ship 30, mm -hmm. 60, 90 days later. Right, we would right. rather present the market and the consumer with a complete package mm -hmm. with a ribbon and a bow on top mm -hmm. than uh, a, a half thought of plan mm. that isn't going to get any traction. Oh, that is great advice. So people tend to put it up immediately, their listings on the MLS, and you're saying yeah. wait until you're ready. Yeah, and most associations make you, like our local association, mm -hmm. makes us after sign listing agreement you have to be up on the market in two days. But we have a form called a seller exclusion from the MLS that allows you to put a date in there that says, hey, we have a sign listing agreement, but we're going to wait a week, two weeks, three weeks before we actually hit the MLS. Huh. Wow. Okay. That's good. Could you um, show us an example of that and we could put it out to everybody? Um, show you an example of the, uh, the, f uh, the form. Um, well, it's for us in California, it's called the seller exclusion from the MLS. Oh, um, okay. I'm not sure if I could just push that out, but it's just, most associations should have that. Should have it, and okay. for us, um, that is emailed to our association once the signed listing mm -hmm. is signed. Mm -hmm. um, we email that to our association so they have proof of it. Okay, great. Well, thank you. That's a great piece of advice. And Raj, we've got to um, finish with you now and get to Joe, who has a whole bunch of information on how do you um, upload their video, as you have, Raj, to homes.com. So thank you. This has actually been really valuable for me, and a lot of people are, have been really enjoying it. And uh, thank you so much. And, and join us at 2.30 Eastern. Raj will be there on the facebook.com slash homes pro page. You have to like the page first, then click on this picture that you will see there and you can ask Raj more of your questions or the questions he didn't get to today, um, I will put them up and he will answer them there. So thank you so much, Raj. This was a great presentation. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, Mel. Sure. Thanks, Raj. And Joe, are you there? I am. I am here, and that was some amazing stuff. And 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 I'm only going to be about five minutes. And what I need to, what I want to do is kind of continue off of what Raj said. I mean, Raj Raj showed some unbelievable videos, and also the, I think the most important thing he did was showing. Um, the, the, so you have to have a compelling reason to draw people in, and and that really makes a big difference. And so, so he showed you all the tools about how to produce the videos, make the videos. What I want to do now is show you how to market the videos in different places other than just YouTube to capture the, the, the buyers and sellers in places where they're not necessarily expecting it. It's so unique, something is so unique, so new, that you've probably never seen it before. So I'm going to show you some really cool stuff in the next five minutes here. So this is some really awesome stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. You guys ready for me? Yes, we are. Go we ahead. Go. Here okay. we go. So what you're seeing right here, this is the homes.com homepage, and, and if you haven't been on there lately, uh, this is a brand new redesign that we just launched. And if you're familiar with, with website design, this is a parallax website. It's kind of like a smart website. So if you haven't been on there, I encourage you to go to homes.com, play with it. You're going to notice a huge difference, and you're going to really like it. And we have 19 million visitors to our site every month, and they're loving this. The feedback we're getting is it's great. And what that's, what's good about that is it keeps them coming back, and it keeps them on our site for longer. And that's extremely, extremely important uh, when you're talking about uh, a major real estate portal. So... What's really cool is everybody's looking at the exact same home page. They see that home page, they type in their favorite city or zip code, and they want to look for listings in their area. So all they have to do is click on search, and here comes their 
their, their search. Now, what's really cool about this is that all the listings are there, and, and if you look up in the upper right-hand corner here, uh, and also above the listings, you see a little ad. There's a, there's a banner ad up there, plus an ad to the right. And, and that's an ad that we launched about seven months ago. It's called Local Ads. It's a product we launched. It's been wildly successful. So successful, in fact, that we've actually launched a mobile version a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. Uh, what we're going to talk about, though, is only the desktop version because we have some new technology that we just launched uh, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, or even a week ago, that uh, is going to take the power of video, the like Raj show just now, and show you how to integrate it into ads just like this. And I'm going to show you that here in the next few minutes here. So what you've been able to do up until now on homes.com is buy your sponsor your favorite zip code or city and then have your ad wrapped around the listings and you can see they have a link to your website your phone number and then a unique call to action with a text box in there and this is pretty unique anyway because I can kind of ask you whatever I want for instance I can ask how's the, the real estate market or I have a house to sell do you work in this area or I'm looking for something specifically in this school district can you help me out with that so this has been a great great spot for agents and brokers to be able to capture buyers and sellers for all of their real estate needs. But up until now, it's been exclusively a digital text form. Okay, so I go in there and I fill out my favorite information, which is great, but we can take this to a new level. Now, one of the cool things about this is I can type in whatever I want as far as text box, but in order for my message or my question to get through, there's a qualification process, and that is so necessary here. So I type in, I'm looking for houses in, in this school district. Now, what you just saw there was uh, a lead capture form pops up. I have to fill out my name, email address, and phone number. And the email address has to be a valid one. It's, it's validated instantaneously. So if it's, a, if it's a, a bogus email address, we immediately kick it out and say, please provide a valid email address. But once I provide this information, then my question can go through. You now get the lead. You now have the inside track on my business and you can call me, email me to answer my question. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. And that's what's been available up until now. But now I want to take the power of what Raj just showed you and show you how to integrate video into this awesome, awesome service here. Okay, so here's how this works. Going back to the home page here, typing in whatever city or zip code I want to, I type it right in here and I click search. But now instead of just getting the the ad, I also have, in addition to your, the ad, I also have video below it, embedded right on it. So you can take a look at it. You see the video, and I'll point it out to you here. <clears throat> so I've got my call to action. I've got my phone number. I've got a link to my website. I've, I even have my social media icons up here, as you can see. And so I can click on those to link to my social mediums. But now I've got a video right here. And all I have to do is press play. And when I press play, I've got your message. And right there, you're showing me and telling me why you're the neighborhood expert, why I should be working with you, what you bring to the table that other agents can't. Now, if that's not a unique selling proposition, if that doesn't give you competitive advantage, I don't know what will. I mean, think about this. Everything on these traditional websites, all these websites, it's all digital text. Here's a listing. Here's the, here's the, ad, the information about it. Here's my phone number. But if I can get, put a video right next to the listings, where I can give you a compelling reason about why I'm the neighborhood expert, what I specialize in, why you should work with me, that gives me a huge advantage over everybody else on this site. And that is what is possible today with local ads, is the power of video. So, and, and you're probably thinking, well, wow, between what Raj showed me and then what Joe's showing me here, sounds really complicated. You know, these building a video and then trying to embed a video into a digital platform, Boy, how do I do that? I'm going to show you how easy this is to do right now in just a few easy steps. So first thing you want to do is you want to be able to go into your, your homes.com profile. Now, if you haven't created one yet, and Mel, can we go back with one slide with that? If you haven't created, uh, if you have not created a homes.com profile yet, I encourage you to do so. First of all, it's free. You can create a profile today where you can upload your photo, your contact information, and you can even generate leads from your listings uh, as, as a free customer. And we're the only site that does that. So it's a great opportunity for that, first of all. But second of all, when you become a paying customer, all this information just transfers right over. So you don't have to create a separate profile. You've got your same login, your same password. 
you log into your, your profile page, hmm. and then from there, you just you'll you open up your dashboard, which if you're a paying customer, you're gonna see your dashboard, all your apps that you have there. You simply go down to your My Homes app and you click on the Homes profile. You can see with the arrow there. When you click on that, you go into your social networks because we're gonna be linking up with YouTube here for the video content. You click on the social networks. Now once you've done this, hopefully you've connected all of your social networks. But this is what the Homes Connect gives you the availability to do is you can go in and you can go in and connect all of your social networks like Facebook, like Twitter, LinkedIn, but also YouTube. And so when you connect your YouTube account, you can copy and paste video links right in there and you can use these exact links to use for your ads in your local ads. So that's how easy it is to do. So let me just show you. So I go in here, I copy and paste the link from YouTube and then I go into my ad builder. Now the ad builder is inside your My Homes app. So that's the same app that we just were in. So you go in and then you can see up here with your text, you can go in and add your text that you want in there and you can put all that. And then down here, that's the ad that goes below your, your main ad. That's where we have the video. So you click on video ad and then you just copy and paste the link and that's it. That's how easy it is to be able to integrate video into your local ad. So step one is you, you, you get your favorite zip code or city. So you, you go in and you say, hey, I want to be in this city or this zip code. So you reserve that. You lock that up. Second of all, you say, okay, now I want to be able to build my customized ad. Then you worry about building your video. You can always put text in first, and I'll show you some other ideas. So while you're waiting to build your video, you can do things like this. You can have some regular basic digital print ads here, you know, so, that your, digital, so your digital media ads here. And some examples are, are this. So, for instance, your social networking links. Whether you have video or not, you can link up Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. I click on one of those badges. I'm, take, I'm being taken right to your Facebook page or your, your Twitter page, wherever you want. So those, those are, can go in whether you have video or not. But also, if you have a lot of listings, there's a great opportunity here because you can put all your listings right in this carousel, and I can just slide through, click the arrows, and shuffle through your listings click on a listing, and then be able to make an appointment right from homes.com to see one of your listings. I can also customize my, my wording here, my call to action, but a couple words of advice is don't put too much wording in there. It gets too busy, and then it takes away from the impact of the ad itself. And then also, if you're a mortgage broker, <clears throat> we cater to mortgage brokers as well. You can also have your ads go in that exact same place, uh, but it's a mortgage ad. So you're not sharing, you're not, you don't have to worry about having 20 different mortgage brokers or 20 different realtors in there, it's only one or two and you get a mortgage broker or a realtor or you know, one of each or it doesn't make a difference. But the main thing here is, is that there's a lot of potential. So you can use a regular ad or you can also put a video ad in there. But the most important thing is get the location you want first, then worry about you know, creating, putting your video in there. Now the pricing is like Google and Facebook. Mel, if you can go back one slide. We price it like Google, Google and Facebook here on a cost per impression basis. That's one of the options with Google and Facebook. So for instance, we, we have something that can fit everybody's budget. If your budget is only $50 a month, that's fine. We can tell you exactly how many times your ad will be seen for that $50. So if your budget is more, we can scale it up. If it's less, we can scale it down. So we have something to fit everyone's budget. So that's not to worry. You, all you have to do is find out a, is my zip code or city available? And if so, how many impressions are available in that city and how much will that cost? And if that's too much, let's scale it back. How much for this much? And, and you're, 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 when you call in, they'll be able to tell you all of that right on the spot. So you won't have any problem with being able to look up availability. But the key here is, again, lock up your favorite zip code or city, number one, and then you can worry about putting your videos in. And by the way, I know I've been going through this kind of fast. So one of the unique features here is that everybody who signs up, they get assigned their very own IT person within homes.com. We call them business consultants. And what they'll do, you call in toll free, they will help you out, walk you through the same process I just did to make sure your ads are up to your specifications and they look good and they're, and they're working properly on homes.com. So not to worry there, we've got you covered. And also I encourage you to connect with me if you want some of the latest in real estate tech and marketing, you can connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com slash joesesso.edutainer or Twitter simply at joesesso. But there's some great information. I look forward to connecting with all of you. 
And uh, again, I want to I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity, Mel and Deb. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. Great. So everyone, uh, especially if you're Homes. Uh, com uh, user, good to get out there. You can see that Raj has his agent profile page up on Homes. com, so it's a really good thing to do. Um, again. Um, Raj, thank you so much for a very classy presentation and uh, I love the video. I'm sorry for those who it didn't work for, a lot of you it did work for, so um, we will work with GoToWebinar to iron out any of the bugs and we will continue to use this, so it's a great platform. Um, to our listening yeah, audience... You, I'm sorry, yeah. sorry to interrupt, did you, to prov did you provide, I'm sure some of the members might want to have a number up there, do they can call in if they're interested in... Uh, Oh yeah, it's up there, there it is. Okay. There it's it up is. there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So if you want to um, follow up on the special offer, buy a local ad and receive one free featured listing, and call the number eight 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 five one eight. No, it's not five one eight. It's eight 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 five one zero eight seven nine five. And this special ends at the end of this week, August second. So definitely. Um, uh, we got one question. What's that? But I think it's going to have a sad answer for Al. Uh, is Homes.com available in Canada yet, Joe? We have uh, some availability in, uh, in, there are some parts in Canada, like Western Canada, uh, like Vancouver area, you can find listings on homes.com, but it's basically, like, it's, like, it's like any other portal, it, it comes down to how much the, the MLSs are willing to you know, share data with us. And so some, some MLSs are better than others in, in Canada. Uh, out on the, in Western Canada, they're great about get, providing us with great information. You can go on homes.com and look up listings in Vancouver, but as you move further east, you don't get as much, um, uh, you don't get as many listings, and it's more sporadic there. So that's that's the answer for that one. Okay, thank you, Joe. Um, for everyone who wants to join the Facebook chat, it, that will begin in oh, 13, thir 13 minutes. minutes exactly. Um, do we have the um, screen for that, Mel, to show people. We'll get that. Go to facebook.com slash homespro, like the page, and join the chat. I know some of you have, didn't get your questions answered, and uh, Raj will be there to answer them. And uh, Next week, we have, next week, next month, on the 21st of August, we have Gary Keller and Jay Papazin. They will be talking about their new book, which is an absolutely great book. The One Thing, I am almost done reading it, and it's not just inspiring for real estate agents, it's for everybody. No matter what you do, they have advice to, uh, on how to be completely successful with the thing that you are most passionate about. So again, that's August 21st. Go to Secrets Webinar and sign up and you will see, receive a free uh, stay vacation download. Uh, thanks again, everyone. Be sure to participate in our exit survey. I read everybody's responses. I really enjoy your feedback. And thanks to our awesome webinar team, uh, Mel, Laura, Manley, Katie, Monica, Z, Gary, and Patty. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye and enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks, Mel. Bye-bye. I'll keep these ads rolling because there's $500 folks can win and, oh, yeah. and lots of stuff. So mm -hmm. we'll see you on the chat. See you next month. Not what you send, it's that you do. I don't believe. All my emails are personalized. My houses come up in the first week. Recording. Even the more you Not to put all your eggs into one basket. Keep those people remembering you. Give them what they're looking for. But properly priced is the key. I say, how can I do this different? You know, we don't have a technology problem, we have a people problem. You have to build a relationship. Secrets of top selling agents.
anybody having trouble getting into the chat, here's where you want to go. Facebook.com forward slash Holmes Pro. See Raj's picture down here under photos? Well, first you have to like the page here. Like the page first so you can see all the special stuff. Click on Raj's photo then. And then click on it again right here in the upper left. And boom, there's the chat. And he'll be there shortly. In fact, let's see if he's chatting yet. And there's some questions already. So if your question didn't get addressed, maybe Raj can address it here in the next few minutes. There on Facebook. He'll be there. Once he gets a cup of coffee or something, give him a little break. But uh, right about 2.30. So again, let's see if I can back that up and show that to you one more time. Facebook.com forward slash Holmes Pro. Like the page. Click on Roger's photo once. Click on Roger's photo twice. And there's the chat. Type your question in the bottom. And wait for Raj to show up. You can start typing now, though. And Patricia, we should provide a list of, of links. We had a lot of links today. So we shall put it in there. So everybody still listening? We'll get you a links page out. Look for that email coming tomorrow. We'll have a link to that because lots of stuff to see and go to. So great idea. Thank you, Patricia.